What happens in your brain as you sleep? Human beings, like all mammals, need sleep. Adults need an average of 7.5 hours a night. However, the average amount of sleep might not be right for you, just as the average size shoe might not be right for your foot. The usual sleep schedule, that is, doing all your sleeping at night, might not be right for you either. Getting some sleep during the day may be exactly what your brain needs. We may not all need the same amount of sleep or the same sleep schedule, but everyone needs the same two types of sleep. Our sleep is divided between REM sleep and NREM sleep, which you can pronounce NREM or non-REM. REM comes from the words rapid eye movement. During this type of sleep, your eyes move quickly. This eye movement shows that your brain is very active and you're dreaming. You spend about 20% of the night in REM sleep. NREM means non-REM or no eye movement. This type of sleep has four stages. When you fall asleep, you enter stage 1 of NREM sleep. This is a light sleep, so a noise could easily wake you up. After several minutes, you enter stage 2. It's not so easy to wake you up from this type of sleep. Stages 3 and 4 are periods of deep sleep. You breathe slowly. Your muscles relax, your heart rate slows, and your brain becomes less active. You experience both REM and NREM sleep when you go through a sleep cycle. A cycle is a group of events that happens again and again, like the cycle of seasons that happens each year. A sleep cycle takes you from light sleep to deep sleep and back again. It includes the four stages of NREM sleep, then a short period of REM sleep, and finally a return to light NREM sleep. At night, most people go through a series of four to six sleep cycles. It's good to understand sleep cycles and the stages of NREM sleep if you ever take naps during the day. A nap of 20 to 45 minutes will mean getting mostly stage 2 sleep. It will mean sharper motor skills and a better ability to focus your mind and pay attention. That is exactly what most people hope for when they take a nap. A longer nap may not do you as much good. It may mean that you enter the deep sleep of stage 3 or 4. If your alarm wakes you during deep sleep, you will wake up unable to think clearly. You will probably feel more tired than you did before your nap, and it can take 30 minutes or more to get over this feeling. However, a longer nap can do you good if it covers a full sleep cycle. That takes 90 to 120 minutes. If your alarm wakes you up at the end of a full sleep cycle, you will be coming out of a light sleep and your brain will have all the advantages of a good rest. Those good effects can last for up to 10 hours. If you live a busy life, you probably do not always get a full night's sleep. Not getting enough sleep can mean you forget words, you have trouble learning, and you react more slowly. You can probably think of other effects of too little sleep. So consider taking a nap for the good of your brain and think about sleep stages if you set an alarm.